Um, hey everyone, so I felt pretty bad because of my last tutorial, it was really crappy and I'm pretty sure um, anyone who watched that didn't gain a benefit like from it because it was really crappy and it was really ugly or whatever. But um, today I'm going to teach you how to shade. So um, you could basically shade anything, you could shade shirts, tank tops, crop tops, shorts, jeans, shoes, anything you want, um, it really depends what you make, well it doesn't depend, you could basically shade anything, so you're gonna need paint.net, and I'm sorry if you hear snoring, people are sleeping at my house, and you're gonna need GIMP, so I'll have links for that in the description, um, I made this a long time ago and I didn't shade it, so, whenever you're designing, always know this, always, okay, let me open a shirt template thing. Oops. Okay. Like. Okay. Let's pretend that's your template. And then this is your design. Before you even start designing, always open a new layer. Like, okay, I just opened my new, um, template. Always open a new layer. Always, 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 always. Because when, when you open GIMP, you, you can't have the template around it, and you're only supposed to have, um, this part, which is without the template. It's basically like a tracing. So once you did that, if you don't know how to make a shirt, check out my crappy tutorial, which is in my videos course. Here we see this is what I would do. This is my own technique. There is plenty of other ways you could do but of course there is no exact way to do this. You could do it on your own way so I do it my own way. So what I do is I press Control A on my keyboard which selects it all and then I press Control V which has it copied. Oops. I meant Control C. Control C copy it. And then go to GIMP and once it shows up it kind of like changes the menu so it would be like more thinner you just go to control V and that should happen and now um you could use a mouse but I have a drawing tablet which makes things um more easier for me cause I suck with the mouse so you don't have to but it's just my own way so when you first do it open it you're going to create a new layer but which is by going there and like you see at the bottom here they have like these types of circles press the full one because you don't want any like come back and then you're gonna press this press double click this paintbrush and my my personal um opinion is to make it to 10 which is the best and so once you have it like that you go to the bottom and I zoom in to like the torso because I always being in the torso weight so the goal here is like to outline the template but you're not really gonna outline it like look at my mouse you're gonna draw a line here 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 so basically you're tracing the outside but only horizontal which is like a line i don't know my horizontal and vertical uh, I think that's horizontal. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what horrible that is. Okay. Um, so, only draw straight lines. Do not draw, um, vertical I think is the word, I don't know. But, um, the only time you might not be drawing a, a straight line is when you're drawing a tank top. Which, again, is just, um, tracing it. So, to begin, I always start at the torso. And this is what I do, hold on. Like maybe a 200 you might want to have it and you want to have it evened out and it doesn't have to be straight it could be messy because perfection isn't really what you need to accomplish here so you just draw a line even if it's like messy or, or not straight that's really okay because once you shave it you don't even know that there was a line so this is my own way people have plenty of other ways but this is what I do and I'm really happy with my results of 
doing this. And it doesn't matter if you, like, get it outside of the workspace of the shirt or whatever. Because there is, like, an option of once you're done, it will, um... It will, like, clean up all the excess stuff. And I know I'm really sloppy, but if this was with a mouse, it would be really worse. And I'm using the little pen thing, but I could, like, fix it up. If you want, you could use a line, but honestly, it doesn't matter at all. Because it's really not much of a big deal. Because once you do it, it's like... I smell like a robot on my arm. But... Um, doesn't matter. Like I said, like 400 times. Okay. So another technique. This is, again, my way. You could do it your own way, your own type of um, style that you think is the best. But what I like to do, okay, let me draw a line outside. Okay. So let's pretend this is your canvas right here. So at the top, I like to, for the shading to point down. In the middle, I like the shading to point straight and at the end I like to straight the shading to point like that and I can keep that there because I don't care but so once you're ready to start shading you're going to go to back to your menu and press this little finger thingy and you're li literally gonna like start smudging it like this and however you like it you could go really um really far strokes oh and don't do this like that make sure you do not do that like make sure you only get like up to the corners and if there's like a design like in the middle only I would try not to um crap like if that happens and you don't really want to fix it you just like smudge it back but I like to go like a little bit far so they can add more detail. It really depends. You could add you could add a, a whole bunch of layers. You could have just one or you could have really as much as you want. It depends on how you like it. Just go and experiment different ways. But this is just my way which I kind of like learned first and that's the way I basically liked it. But um, there's also a way of shading with the white, which is kind of like a shine to the middle, which really, you won't need it, but, um, oh yeah, okay, so if you have like a black shirt and you want to, um, shade that, well, you can't really shade black on black, and if you shade white on the black, that's gonna look really weird so what I usually do is I go to paint on um, paint.net and I go to settings and sorry my computer is like really laggy but I go to paint.net and I um what did I do okay I go to brightness and contrast and it raises the contrast no the brightness so it kind of looks like it's gray and I like have it gray but then I shade it black, so it really looks like it's a black shirt, but in the middle it's like a shine or whatever you want to call it. And like, right here it's like, or you won't really notice, so it could be as messy as you want. The more messy, the more natural it could get, you could give it a look. But sometimes I get really lazy and I don't even do anything. Like, I just keep a line there. But of course, if you find a different way, and if you think that looks better, then no one's going to stop you. This is your design. So, go go do it and go for it. I mean, no one's going to stop you, unless... I don't know. Okay, so I think I'm basically wasting your time. So, I'm using a new software, so I'm going to try to speed it up. And if I don't, then... I'm truly sorry. So, yeah.
Okay, so once you're um, pretty happy with the shading, you go to the layers and right here, look at this look, arrow in front of the opacity. You're gonna go to grain merge and like I, t I said, it's all cleaned up and um, you're basically done. If you think the shading is too dark, go to the opacity and reduce it. I believe the lighter the better. But, that's just my opinion. Um, like, you know, if you really like it dark, go for dark. If you like it really light, go for light. If you think it's not enough, you could add another layer. Or the good thing is, you can actually still draw again, and it would be, um, transparent and whatever. Or you could draw a new layer, and you could, like, like, you want, like, the middle to be transparent, and then, like, for example, open a new layer, and then... Notice how this is more darker, and then you can keep it like darker, or whatever, like you know, however you like it. And if you really feel good about it, and if you like it, um, you're gonna go to File. Do not go to Save As. You're gonna have to go to Export As. Um, go to press your pictures, and just type whatever, like hi, and then press export now if you copy it and paste it the background is going to be black so I recommend you save it and then you reopen it and paint on it it's it's I named it that and then, and you can see it's more a lot of a difference. So, um, yeah. So I hope this time I was able to um help you guys. Which I mean, for beginners like real beginners, I'm sure I helped you in the last tutorial. But I just felt bad and I think it was really crappy and I felt that I was just being lazy. So um, I really hope that this did help you. I do take requests, so if you want to learn something, send me a message. Here is my profile. Send me a message, and I'll make sure um, to read it. See, no unread messages. And I'll read it, and I'll consider making a video, or talking to you individually, if you want me just to remake it, or if you want me to show you, or whatever. So, um, yes, thank you very much for um, watching, and... I hope you have a good day, a good night, a good evening, a good afternoon, whatever. Bye.